you'll be more apt to help out than to just think of it as another disaster. Disaster in the Virgin Islands hitting home for Sarah Larander in Sanford. Began my teaching career in St. Thomas and I lived there for a year and a half and met some of my closest friends. Friends who became family. One friend, now her husband. Taught at the same school that I did, so we've kind of always had that connection there. A bright connection now clouded in uncertainty after Hurricane Irma's wrath. One of our really great friends, he's from Old Orchard, he is the assistant principal at the school, and he showed us pictures and videos of just a mudslide taking over the whole street. And so they're not sure even if, when and if they'll be able to open. Loranger says if All Saints Cathedral School closes, that's lost jobs, lost educations. And it's just one issue that the small island is facing. There's one hospital on the island of St. Thomas, and the first two floors were completely blown off. Roofs blown off, windows blown out, even though they were boarded up. Cars flipped over, debris blocking the roads. Lives turned upside down. And it was the scariest thing they've ever been through in their entire lives. And now a call to Mainers to send help for some of their own. There's a lot of people from our area that are still living there or that have, and we need to help them. Here are the best ways that you can help. She says donations to these groups go directly to the islands. VI Strong, St. John Community Foundation, Kenny Chesney's Love for Love City Foundation. These will also be listed on our website, WMTW.com. They can't forget. They can't move on with their lives as easily as we can. So it's something that we need to make sure continues for a really long time. In Sanford, Kathleen Jordan, WMTW News 8.